everybody and welcome back to hardcore minecraft and we're back here in our hardcore world and look at all the cool stuff we've built in this area there's <laughs> so many cool things we got our starter house we got our ultimate animal pen over there our nether portal slash enchanting tower and then the last episode we built this awesome villager trading hall and oh man we have a visitor hello where's your other llama i don't need any of those things you're giving me huh? goodbye <laughs> but this villager trading hall right here i love it so much it came out so nice and and it has a bunch of villagers in here. I've been doing a lot of breeding. I've been doing a lot of uh, trading over here. Hi, you need a job. I'll get you a lecture in a second. But check this out. We have Silk Touch. We have Depth Strider. Um, I have to re-roll that one. We have Mending. We have a bunch of random people here that are leather workers. Um, you need a job. Here's our Efficiency 4, friend. Another leather worker. That's right. They look so good out here in horse stables. Oh, get to work. We also have people up here. Hello. We have this lovely friend uh, for fire aspect. I gotta keep re-rolling. There's some of these that I gotta re-roll, but this one I locked it in here. Unbreaking three. I haven't cured them or anything because you know what? I do the humane thing. I just leave them be and I don't uh, turn them into a dead thing and then revitalize them. Uh, but I should. I got looting three as well. I like you. <laughs> and we also have uh, a couple more that uh, have no jobs, but it's okay. I'm going to keep re-rolling. This is just a random um, fisherman in here. Uh, we don't need a fisherman. Thank you very much. But what other books do I need? Let me know in the comments. What am I missing that is a must-have? And yes, fortune is one. I got to get fortune. I've been trying to get fortune for the last week, and I can't get fortune, but it's okay. I will get fortune. But besides fortune, what should I get? Come on in. You need a job. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you. Go get a job. I think I have a couple extra lecterns here. Oh, yes, I do. I think I'll give this right. Oh, you need a job. Here, get a get a job. Mandy. Oh, you're a better Mandy than the other Mandy, but only by two. Uh, okay, I'm not going to do this now. I've been doing this for too long. Uh, we'll do it one more time. Um, Right here. Please be fortune. Sure, please. I'll re-roll you later. But this is definitely one of the coolest villager trading halls that I've ever done. Usually, I throw all my villagers on the ground in a little row. They're a little more free range here, but controlled free range in a building, which they can't escape. Oh. Wandering trader, you left a llama in here. There's a bunch of horses over there. Wandering trader, okay. I guess it's my llama now. Hold on, let me get you some new clothes. Let me just get white. Can I have this one too? No, just the other one? Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill you for it or anything. We don't kill wandering traders around here. All right, you're ready, my friend. So what do we got here? Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, you look pretty. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out in here. Are you gonna be our head chef? Oh, perfect. You know what? We need a name for this llama. Name this llama right now in the comment section. Thank you so much. Around here, we got a couple named animals, too, like our friend Whiskers. What's up, Whiskers? How you doing? Let's go for a walk. And we do have two froggy friends. They've been here for a long time. I don't have any more name tags right now. But you know what? I'll do some training with the villagers and name these guys. But guess what? I already got names. That's right. You stuck in here? Here you go. That's right. We got names for them. And thank you so much to Sil H for giving us these names. This right here is Ribbert. That's right. And our beautiful friend over here. Oh, jumping up over here in the back. Oh, this is Lily. What's up, Lily? Lily loves jumping up and down on Lily pad, so it makes sense. There you go. Told you. Called it. Um, Whiskers, what are you doing in the water? Get out of there, Whiskers. Try off over here, my sweet friend. You know what? I'm going to rescue some horses. That's right. See if I have any more leads over here. Um, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I do have a saddle, though. My donkey friend, can I borrow this? Muchas gracias. Burrito. Do a quick nap, though. Hello? That is totally night time. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, that's fine. I'll just... Oh, there it is. Perfect. I'm coming, my friend. Give me a second. I'm coming. I got a lovely stable in there for you. I got plenty of food. I got other friends for you to hang out with and play with. Come on over. Oh, you lovely socks. Look at all those horses down there. Oh, this is great. Okay, I'm going to open palm this, all right? Oh, no, don't just throw me off like this. Come here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, no, 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 just slow down. Shh, shh. Oh, please, please. No, don't go towards the water. Please, I don't want to get wet like Whiskers did. Oh, perfect. See, that wasn't that bad. Come over here. Let me ride you around a little bit. Let's see, how fast are you? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is pretty good. Your heart ain't good at all, though. Let me see your jumps. Eh. Okay, you know, not bad. Average in the jumps. Not average in the hearts, though, but the speed. Oh, man. I love you. You're nice. I'm gonna call you Socks. I'm not gonna even ask anybody uh, to give you a name. Uh, your name is Socks. Look at your feet. Okay, this one I'm definitely not gonna name. You guys name this horse right here. But that horse is called Socks. I love him. I'm so cute. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Tell this horse that I'm riding right now that I'm a good boy and they'll be great uh, if they get over there uh, and love me. Come on. I'm friends with Socks. I know you know Socks. They're right there. Come on. Love me. Love me. Glove me. Please. Please. Okay, last time. I'm not going to force you to love me. If you don't love me right now, I'm going to just leave with socks. How about that? How about that? You want me to leave with socks? You don't even have a good enough heart. I don't even know why I'm, I'm bothering with you. 
Oh wait, did you love me already? I didn't see the heart. You loved me, I didn't even notice. Let's test the speed. Average. Average, just average. How about jumps? Oh, jumps is good. Oh, you have leaping ability. Oh yeah, you have pretty, eh, pretty decent. Eh, you, you know, you just average all the way down. Your heart ain't that good though. Give me this. Both of us, we're going. Let's go. Oh, socks is so fast. Keep up, horsey. Woo! The speed! Woohoo, baby! Let's go! You better keep up! Whiskers, watch out! I'm going so f Wow! This is so fast! Oh, man! My little burrito friend is gonna be so upset I'm never gonna drive right around town again. Iron Gollum, can you get out of here, please? Get out! Get out! Thank you. Were you left behind, too? Oh, there he is over there. This is for me! Is this for me? I guess it's for me. Hello. Okay, let's go. Love me like the horsies did. You don't be mean. I'm gonna get you a brand new outfit, okay? This outfit looks like it's tired and old. It's all scrungy and all nasty. I'll help you out. Don't worry. What color do you want? What color you want? I'm gonna get you some different color. Hold on. I'm gonna get you red. I'm gonna get you red. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll get you a red outfit, okay? I'll be right back. Thank you so much. Gimme. Gimme. And boop. Perfect. Excuse me. I wonder what red looks like. I don't think I remember. Thank you again. And boop. Oh, perfect. Yes. Gryffindor. Two points. Let's go. Come with me. You can work on the stable side on this app. I don't think I have anybody over here. This could be our llama stable. That's fine. All right. Have a good time. You're a wizard, Harry. Your name's Harry. All right. I'm going to just get one more horsey right there. Oh, cutie. Oh, look at all those hearts. Poop, 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 poop. I didn't see any hearts, though, but I think you love me. Oh, wow. Let's see. One, two, three. This is pretty good. Close to socks. How it jumps. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. The hops are good. The speed is excellent. The hearts are impeccable. You know what I should do? We should do a breed job with you and socks. And that'll be the ultimate horsey. Oh, that'll be great. You know what? I am going to do that. I forgot what it takes to breed horses, but you know what? Let's go in here for a second. I will look this up. Alexa, how to breed horses in Minecraft. Carrots. Okay. Ah! Ah! Socks. Horse that has not been named. We need a name for this horse. Name it now. Here you go. Oh, wait. No. It's, it was a lie. Alexa, you lied to me! It has to be golden carrots, not regular carrot. Hello. Here we go. Let's do that and that. Okay, perfect. I think I wasted all my gold. All right, I'm back. I'm back. All right. So oh, God. Oh, you guys are going crazy. Okay, I want you and you. Oh, perfect. Here it is. Make a baby. Oh, you're going to be the most elite horsey in the history of the history books. You're going to have speed. You're going to have hearts. You're going to have leaping ability. You're going to be the alpha of this whole entire stable area. Now, you um, you can have baby with this one. I forgot what your name was, but that's fine. You can roam free. Make a baby. That's fine. I guess they're not in the mood. What? You guys want to make a baby too? Don't ask. I'm not going to do nothing. Have a great rest of your day. I'll wait till that baby grows up and we'll do some testing later. Now for the project of the day. There's a couple things that we need in order to survive and make our lives a little easier here in our hardcore world. We got enchanting all set up. So we're good for enchanting. We got a nether portal in there. So we're good for that. We got all our animals all set up and looking nice. And we got villager trades in the back and our just basic starter needs here in the starter house with storage. But something that we need to do is improve on the farms but not only these farms oh hey ribbert i want to have a lot of books for those villagers and what do we need for those books we need leather and as far as leather for right now we got all of our cows which we could just do a little bit of light murder and we're gonna get our leather squared away the next thing we need is paper and uh, that's where the problem comes in i don't have a steady supply of paper we need a lot of sugar cane, and all I got is just a little bit down over there. We need a good supply, so I'm building a sugar cane farm today, but that's not all. I also love bees, and I love honey, and honeycomb. I also love candles, and I need stuff so we can wax all of our copper, because we may be using a lot of copper in these builds. So why don't we combine the two things into a really cool greenhouse? An ultimate greenhouse, one for some basic honey production, and another for an automatic sugar cane farm. I just need to decide where to put it. Eventually, I'm gonna have, oh, what was that? Oh no, that was scary chicken, did you see that? Oh no, what is wrong with that guy? He's teleporting all over the place. Make sure not to look at him. Eventually on this side, we're gonna have a huge farming district with a bunch of crop fields, windmills, warehouses, barns, and everything over here on this end. For right now, we're still in our starter phase. So I'm thinking right up here, we can build, oh, what's wrong with that? Why do you keep teleporting? What's wrong with you? It's not like it's raining or anything, but I'm thinking right here, we can build our big greenhouse. Oh, 
Oh, uh, what do you want? It's daytime. Stop it. Stop. 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 How dare you? I think it's time for you to die. Oh, that's why you weren't burning. Forgot to take our invisible armor's resource pack out. <laughs> that's fine. I kind of like seeing myself like this. See, we are wearing our diamonds, so don't be scared. But I think this might be a good spot to build our ultimate greenhouse. I'm going to build it right down this line. It's going to be pretty long, too. i got a good idea for it. So step number one. Um, let's put some of this junk away. And step number two. Uh, this is about to die, and this one as well. How many diamonds do we have? Oh. Not that green in diamonds, but uh, we can make it work. Let's make a nice diamond axe. Let's do a little enchanting. Whiskers, let's go. You dried up already? Let's go get some enchanting done. Uh, efficiency three. And fortune. Okay, not bad. Now let's go make some spruce. Perfect. Let's go. Help, I'm stuck. Now the next thing we're going to need is a lot of sand because we have to make a lot of glass because we are making a greenhouse after all. And what kind of greenhouse is not going to have a bunch of glass? Ain't that right, the uh, uh, horsey? Socks? Let's go. Onward. Woo! The speed. <laughs> Let's go get some sand. Chest boat. Oh, my friend. Uh, wait for me here, Socks. Okay, I know you're not going to go too far. I got to borrow chest boat. We're going to go look for some sand. Let's go. Sand right there, but eh, we need a lot more than that. Hopefully, it's like a little desert or a beach or something down here. Oh, the opposite of sand. You know what? Times are rough. I'm just going to get some sand right here. Got to do what I got to do. Socks. We're back. We're back. See you later, chest boat. Let's go home. Oh, it was a great adventure. You missed it. I wish you could swim. Has your child grown up? Not yet. Oh, come on. Let's put this sand to cook. Can you do it for me? Thank you. Go ahead. Now, I think I have most of the materials to build the actual greenhouse, but I'm going to be needing a lot of redstone components if I'm going to build an automatic sugarcane farm. So let's grab all the redstone we have and all the iron we have and all the cobblestone. I think there's some redstone stuff that we need cobble for, right? I'm going to need a bunch of observers, so I know I have some quartz over here. Ain't that right, Whiskers? There we go. Meow. They can eat like 36 observers and pistons. Uh, 39. That's fine. Got a couple extras. You know what? I'll take 42. Why not? Now I'm also going to need a bunch of rails. I'm also going to need a couple hoppers and a hopper minecart. Just need one repeater and one comparator. Well, look at this. Redstone with sausage. Now I think we're almost ready to go. The only thing is that I kind of misjudged the space we have here. I think we need a lot more. This is going to be a pretty long build of what I have planned. Oh, I think we need to do a little terraforming, expand this little mound a little more, maybe have a little bit more of a gradual slope going down more this way. And there it is. Terraforming has been done. It's pretty much just dirt. Uh, and I'm waiting for it all to convert into grass. I'm going to add some more stony bits, some rocky bits, uh, a little bit more of just moss down there just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, but it's pretty good. It's looking pretty nice. Now we have this whole big old area to build our giant ultimate greenhouse. And trust me, we're going to use this whole entire space to fill this thing out. So I guess it's time. Let's do it. Let's build the ultimate greenhouse. Here it is! The greenhouse is complete! And it looks so cool! Look at the little extension there on the side. We got the sugar cane farm in there, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. But I still need to do a lot more stuff here on the outside bit. Number one, uh, we need to get a little path going. We need to connect it over here to this little main road that connects right next to our animal pen. And I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it a little bit with some coarse dirt, a little bit more details, and some more bone milling on the side, and some more moss. But I'm thinking, yeah, right here, it's looking really cool. But you know what? This greenhouse was inspired by my friend Gemini Tay. That's right. 
she is great after all, but she does love adding white stained glass to greenhouses and I was just inspired so I wanted to build my own version of it and I think it came out pretty cool, especially with the little extension here on the side. But you know what, let's go on the inside here, let me show you the details that I put in. But over here, this is where we're going to be putting our lovely bees. We have to go bee hunting in a second, but you know what, we'll get to that right now. But we have space, not only on the top, but also on the bottom for a bunch. I don't know if I'm going to get that many to fill this whole thing up right now, but at least we can get it started. But over here we got lovely plants we got a bunch of bushes glow berries all the way there to the top hanging lights there on the ceiling i even got a little bit of that lovely old root we got some lichen as well and it's pretty cool i also got a door here in the back so we can come in from either side and then also want to have some bees on the outside bit too so i'm going to be putting a couple here on this side and a couple more over here on this side and then right here on this end look what i have bam check this out whenever we get a bunch of extra seeds and stuff we can go ahead and put them over here drop the seeds on this side it goes down to here to the composter and down here we get some bone meal so this is a little old school bone meal generator look at this little extension it looks pretty cool and then coming around the back oh wait hold on i forgot i gotta make path here too oh no i made this into moss i gotta change that whatever i gotta make another path over here too i left most of this open this is fine perfect and then we'll make a little road going down here to the farming district eventually and then also we have to make another path going this way kind of curving around and going up to this lovely old area here oh i also gotta convert this into dirt that's fine we'll continue this later but let me show you the inside of the farm and it works lovely and this is so simple i'm gonna put a link in the description with a tutorial and we can go in from either that side or for in this side of the greenhouse we can cross over to any one of these doors we just have to make sure the doors are closed because i don't want the bees to get in here and get smacked in the face with that minecart but it's really super simple over here i have waterlogged stairs going all the way down on the top bit over here we have our sugar cane with our observers and our pistons and whenever it gets to the point that the sugar cane goes all the way to the tippy top hits the observer it goes ka-chunk ka-chunk and look at that we get a whole stack already that was fast but this will always be loaded the minecart's always going to be going around here so we're going to get a bunch while we're just around in the area it keeps it loaded what do you think of the ultimate greenhouse <laughs> sauce ow i love this thing let me put some stuff here in this barrel. I'm going to store this in here. I'm going to be using it later to prettify the area. But for right now, we need to get going. We're going to go find some bees. But I'm going to need something with silk touching it. And a couple extra campfires too. I'm going to put that axe away because it does have fortune in it. See if I can make a brand new one. I have one diamond left. I'm so poor. Excuse me. I'm trying to get in here. Thank you. There we go. Silk touch. Can't go. Goodbye. And here we go. That's good enough for now. And we got the campfires. Let's go look for some bee houses. I'm gonna need a mount. Where is the baby? Are you the baby? Or are you the baby? Um, you're the baby. Oh, you better love me. Oh, you have a lot of hearts just like your daddy did. Oh, you, come on now. The leaping ability is there. The speed is there. A perfect crossbreed. Oh man, this is genetics. This is fantastic. All right, let's look for, let's look for some bees. Great breed job. Ah! Sorry, I'm the one who went down hard. You didn't go down hard at all. You're a tank. I should get some flowers just in case. Perfect. Onward. Ooh, there's one right here. Oh, there's bees around here too. Perfect. Hello, bee. I just put a campfire. Oh, you want to help me? Oh, thank you. I will take your honeycomb. Thank you. I can make my own bee boxes now. Got them. Oh, bee location. Let's go. Oh, I see more over here. Let's go. I'm going to yoink them all. Boop. Boop. Got it. Ooh, look at this big old forest. I bet you we're gonna find a bunch over there. I see bees now, right there, perfect. Hey bee, I'm gonna steal your home. Whoop, yoink, got it. Oh, there's one more right there. Let's grab it, got him. Oh, look at that beautiful greenhouse right there. Oh, so nice. Let's park our horsey friend over here for now. Thank you so much for your help. You grew up so fast. Mwah. Well, let's pop our bees down over here. And then with the honeycomb we got, we can make some beehives. And here we go, all of our bee babies. Let's go, let's make a bunch of children. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, perfect. Now that some of these already have the honeycomb, I can go ahead and make one more box. I need a box over here and a box over here. Whoa, um, oh, that bee's probably stuck there. They're fine, they get out. Here we go, one more extra hive. Bang, perfect. Uh, can you get out of there, please? But our ultimate greenhouse, it is so cool. What do you guys think? I'm thinking next episode. Kitty? <gasps> I'm thinking next episode we'll make a kitty cat house. A cat cafe now. <laughs> no, but let me know. What do you guys think I should build in the next episode? I got a couple ideas. I'm thinking definitely Iron Farm coming up soon. Maybe the farming district. We need to expand on that. Maybe build a windmill, barn, something like that. But let me know. Let me know what you think. What should we build next? If I had some fish, I will tame that cat right now. Bye, kitty. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the next episode of the Hardcore World. Goodbye.